All right, Shalom. This is uh, Brother Yawala from GM Chicago. Uh, I'd like to start off first and foremost by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Shai. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. And uh, salutations to you, brothers, Akim out there, pushing out this word in truth and sincerity. So, uh, welcome to another episode of uh, GMS, El Balance de las Escrituras, which uh, means uh, GMS, uh, the balance of the scriptures. And uh, Lord willing, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh uh, Shai, I'll be able to bring out this lesson in, in just that, man, in, in that manner. You know, and I'll uh, be able to show how the scriptures are all in balance. Um, but basically, uh, I'm just going to bring out a lesson today about, uh, you know, going to the milk, you know, since this is a relatively new channel, you know, uh, we're going to go into the milk, man. And, uh, basically, uh, well, I'm going to go into how salvation, uh, is only for Israel and, um, the Lord has only dealt with Israel from the beginning and it's going to stay that way. Uh, nothing has changed. It's still, um, it's still only Israel. You know, we got a couple of scriptures, and I got a couple of scriptures. Uh, <clears throat> well, the first one, we're going to start off with uh, Amos chapter 3, verse 1. It says, uh, Hear this word that Yahweh has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which brought, which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, So he made it clear in the beginning he's talking about Israel. Verse 2. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for your iniquity. You know, so the laws were only given to to Israel. You know, um, and uh, it, just off the spirit, shit, you know, I, this wasn't in the part of the lesson, but, you know, Romans chapter 9 jumps to my head, man. Because uh, a lot of people uh, want to say that, uh, uh, that the Lord only dealt with Israel in the Old Testament, but no, it's uh, it's actually uh, it's 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 been continuing that way, you know. It, nothing has ever changed. Is uh, Romans chapter nine verse one. Uh, well, I'm gonna go, go to the point. Uh, chapter nine verse four is uh, it says, "Who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law." And the service of the Most High and the promises, you know. So the Israelites only have the promise, man. They they were the ones given the laws, and that's why in Amos three and one, uh, verse two, uh, Amos three and two, it says that uh, uh, he has only known them, so he will punish them for their iniquities, man, because they were given the law. These heathens, man, they they're meant to be heathens, you know. So if if they go off, so called go off, like they eat pork or uh. You know, fucking kill each other. Who cares, man? Doesn't this uh, law wasn't given to them? You know, that's why you know we'll eat uh, uh, pork or shrimp, and we'll have like high blood pressure or diabetes. But the this uh, this Edomite, this so-called white man, he'll he'll eat red meat, and uh, and 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 uh, in general, his his uh, uh, their cholesterol won't won't be as high as our our nation man the so-called blacks latinos and native americans man you know but i'm gonna keep going is uh you know and that's because we're under the curses <clears throat> kind of the next scripture i'm gonna go to is uh in psalm this is the book of psalms chapter 147 verse 19 it says he showeth his, his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Again, he had not dealt so with any nation. As for his and as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye Yahweh. You know, these are scriptures that, that nobody ever brings out, man. They they damn sure are not going to bring it out in, in the churches. You know, but it shows you straight out of the Bible that the Lord is not coming for everybody. It's plain and simple. You know, which nowadays the the re the real true Israelites are the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, because we we're under the curses uh, that are that refer back to Deuteronomy 28. You know, starting at the 15th verse, all the way to 68, uh, where uh, it, it tells you uh, about uh, the transatlantic slave trade, man. You know, but yeah, man, the Lord has uh he has not dealt so with any other nation. He's been with us. So, 
the next verse this is uh, Joel chapter 2 verse 27 it says ye only have I known no ye it's like it says ye and ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel once again Israel and that I am Yahweh, your power and none else none else it tells you right there plain plain and simple man you know and that's the point man because uh, the Lord is our power man you know when, when we pray to him we we, we call him uh, we tell him that he's our power man my power man because because these other heathens man they don't have a, a, a true living power man you know they have a, a, a fake uh, a fake power man a fake God man they worship idols you got a uh, Moab which is so-called Chinese you know they they worship a, a fat fat rock man a fat dude that's really just a rock man they you know rub on his belly and shit ask for a wish or for good luck and shit you know but that's that's not a living god man that's just that's just that's stupidity man it really you know you you rub on a rock and and think that shit's gonna come your way and shit that's not the case man you know you got them ishmaelites the the arabs you know uh they get down with islam you know and they circle around a uh Another rock, uh, 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 what's it called? Uh, a cube, a, a big cube. They circle it, and then at the end, they put their head in through the hole that, that symbolizes the vagina and shit that, that, that's in that same figure. You know, once again, another example of a non-living power, man. You know, <clears throat> if, if Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai was with them, you know, uh, they wouldn't be following after after bullshit, man. You know, and, and it keeps going on with all these other nations, man. Elam has like 200 gods and shit you know one for every every little thing you know a, a god of a war and stuff like that but yahweh bashim yahushai is omnipotent man he has all the power man you know <clears throat> that's the point man he's only dealt with us with israel man i'm gonna keep going is uh i'm gonna read it again this is joel chapter 2 verse 27 and ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am Yahweh, your power, and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. You know, and shall never be ashamed, man, because he was not he's not gonna reject us, man. That completely cuts the doctrine that they have now in the new uh church uh nowadays in the new churches, where they tell you that the Gentiles uh are, are all the other nations, man. And now out, out of nowhere, out of the blue, uh the Lord opened up uh the doors for these heathens to come in man to the congregation man when in uh through spirit and nehemiah uh the book of nehemiah chapter 13 it tells you it's written in the book of moses that uh that uh moab and ammon shall never enter the, to the congregation i have it right here is uh, nehemiah 13 and 1 on that day they read in the book of moses in the audience of the people and therein was found written that the Ammonite and the Moabite shall not come into the congregation of the Most High forever. And that says forever, man. You know, the Lord doesn't change and we're going to get those scriptures, man. You know, but that's the point, man. Like, if people want to uh, open up the, 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 the doors to everybody else when, when in the scriptures, it, it says nothing of those sorts, man. You know, and it says nothing about that, man. Uh, in reality, the Gentiles were the uh, that's sp sp spoken in the New Testament. Uh, it's talking about the dispersed Israelites that took on the customs of these heathens, man. That's that's why they were called Gentiles, man, because they were they were far away from the Commonwealth of Israel. But now they're being brought back to their old to their to their to their own ways, man, to the ways of Israel, you know, because that's the way it should be, man. They're Israelites. All right, uh, I'm gonna keep going. There's a, uh, and uh, you know, a lot of people want to say that uh, that was the Old Testament, man. But that's fine, man. We can go to the New Testament. This is the Book of Acts, chapter five, verse thirty. <laughs> Does everybody want to say uh, so-called Jesus? You know, he died on the cross for everybody, man. You know, uh, but no, it actually tells you specifically who. Uh, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls uh, Jesus, died for, man. Tells you right here. This is the book of Acts, chapter 5, verse, I'm going to start at 29. 
Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey the Most High rather than men. Not their doctrines like the ones that they teach at the churches, but what the scripture says. Because this, this, this word is inspired by the Most High. <clears throat> Verse 30. The power of our fathers, personal pronoun, raised up Yahweh Shai, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Him hath the Most High exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sin. You know, so Yahweh Shai only died for Israel. He only died and covered the sins of Israel, man. It didn't say the whole world right there, you know, and this is in the New Testament, man, what people are so, uh, so willingly are, 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 will, are, are unwilling to see, man, who, who willingly uh, ignore, man, you know, shit, with yeah, well, these pastors, man, they don't even bring it out, man, they don't even bring out these scriptures, you know, we're kind of, now we're going to go into a uh, you know how the, the the Lord actually looks at these other nations, man. Because you you might uh, another comeback that most people say is, uh, well, what about uh, you know we're all we're all uh, the Lord's creation, man. Like the Lord created all of us, you know. He he must love all, uh, us all, right? Wrong. I'm got the scripture. This Second Ezra chapter six verse fifty four, and it says after these Adam, uh, after these Adam also. Whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. Alright? There's there's the point y'all made. We all come from from Adam. Uh, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. Talking about Israel. All this have I spoken before thee, O Yahweh, because thou hast made the world for our sakes. As for the other people, which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing. But be like unto spittle, spit, and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. So you see all these heathens, like there's a shitload of them. Like there's a lot of them, man. You know, and, and damn near innumerable, man. You know, and and what did how did the Lord like liken unto them as a drop of a bucket of a vessel, man? You know, uh, like if you if you're carrying a bucket. And you know the water's uh, swishing around, and then a little bit comes off and falls off. You're not. It, it's it's like that. That that little uh, water doesn't matter, man. You know you're gonna let it fall. You're gonna keep going about your business. You're not gonna stop and pick it up. You know. So, so there there it goes, man. Plainly, it tells you in the in the Bible. You know, um, but it, it's up to y'all if you want to receive it, man. <clears throat> You know, and and, th and that account is also written in uh, Isaiah 40 and 17. You know, uh, I'll read it real quick. You know, Isaiah chapter 40, verse 17, it says, All nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing and vanity. I'm going to jump, up to, uh, jump back to verse 15. It says, Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket. I was written in it, it's like, uh, Second Ezra, and are counted as a small dust of the balance. Behold, he taken up the isles as a very little thing. Man. So these other nations, they're 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 they're, uh, they're vanity, man. You know, they they're nothing, man. They're nobody, man. You know, they're really just meant to be our our slaves, man. You know, that's really the balance of it all, man. You know, this channel is called the balance of the scriptures. That that's the real balance of this thing, man. You know, because when there's a kingdom, you have a uh, you have people that rule, man. For instance, in this kingdom, the so-called Edomite rules, man. The so-called white man, he's he's the ruling class people, man. And he has servants, man. And right now, he has uh the 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 true Israelites under captivity, man, which is the the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. That's that's the whole reason why the Lord has to come save us, man. Because we're the only ones that need saving, man. You know, we're the ones in captivity. We're the ones subject to payments. You know, uh, of course Esau su subjects his own people to payments, but that's because he's an idiot, man. You know, he 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 he's uh, his house is divided now, man. 
you know, he uh, he pro he preached all this equality stuff when the, the scriptures plainly just uh, contradicts equality, you know, because the Israelites are are are, are of a of a gra greater stature, right? you know, they're 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 more worthy or uh, more honorable than these other nations, man, you know, but you know, right now we're in captivity, man, and we need our Lord to come and save us, man, our Lord. <clears throat> Huh. I'm, I'm going to finish this off with a <clears throat> the last two scriptures. This is the book of Malachi, chapter 3, verse si uh, 6. You know, because you know, everybody wants to say that the laws are done away with and that, uh, you know, uh, it's changed now and, you know, the, their salvation is for anybody, you know. But let's see what the scripture says. Uh, this is uh, the book of Malachi, chapter 3, verse 6. For I am Yahweh, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. And why do you have to say that the sons of Jacob are not consumed? Because, uh, because uh, if he would have changed, we would have been consumed, man. We we would have been pushed out to the side. You know, we would have been given a promise, like uh, the promise of uh, of salvation. You know, uh, everybody else uh, would would have entered, and we would have just, you know, been like everybody else, man. You know, we'd, we'd have been kind of, kind of insignificant also, man. You know? But the point is, he doesn't change, man. He's he's always the same. And and it's also written in the New Testament also with uh, Yahweh Shai. It's Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8. It says, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, the same yesterday and the day and forever. You know, the Lord is going to keep his integrity, man. He's not gonna change. He's not gonna fold. You know what he said is is uh, is is gonna stay, man. There's no difference to it, man. You know, there's no difference to the doctrine. There's there's no change to it. You know, salvation is only for Israel and none else, man. You know, you know. Of course, you're gonna have your uh, confusion of face Israelites, the Israelites that look like the other nations, but through the spirit and power you have by Shimei Shai, they'll hear hear this word and wake up, man. But the point is, is this is a balance, man. You know, when the kingdom of heaven comes, the Israelites will be, will be brought into rulership, and these other nations will be put in their rightful place as servants, man. And and that's a balance, man. Uh, the vessel for honor and the vessel for dishonor, man. You know, but with that, you know, ho hopefully this uh, video was edifying unto the elect of Israel. Uh, once again, I'd like to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who taught us this word. And uh, salutations to the Akium who are pushing out this word again in truth and sincerity. And with that, I want to say Shalom.